March the 15th. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Psalms 69, verse 16. When we supplicate, we should supplicate beyond the limits of our conception of the things we pray for. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Psalms utter 19, verse 76. And the Messiahs, the living words, the avatars, the apostles, the prophets, whatever you want to call them, they were pleased to be the servants, the slaves of divinity. And everything else, really, even if it be unwilling in its choices, is a servant to God somehow. Love and divine has seen and counted every tear it caused to fall, and the storm which love appointed was its choicest gift of all anon. O oh, that thou couldst dwell in the knowledge and sense of this, even that the Lord beholds thy sufferings with an eye of pity, and is able not only to uphold thee under them, but also to do thee good by them. Therefore grieve not at thy lot, be not discontented, look not out at the hardness of thy condition, but when the storms and matters of vexation are sharp, look up to him who can give meekness and patience, can lift up thy head over all, and cause thy life to grow, and be a ganger by all. If the Lord God help thee proportionably to thy condition of affliction and distress, thou wilt have no cause to complain but to bless his name. Pennington And all the hardness or difficulty or bad or whatever, it can be a means of being forgiven, of gaining merit. And by bad, I mean, you know, negative. I don't mean, you know, making bad choices. Because then that's something um, one may have to go through difficulty to undo in a way.